but it's not like it's uh, you know, a shadow or something coming through the room. Mm -hmm. This this is an actual physical activity. There was a couple of them that were more uh, explainable, like one where there's some change to the the, the hues on the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one there where she filmed uh, it looked like her, a cross. Like so, here's a picture right here, and there's a cross normally side by it. But now the cross is up like this on top of the picture. So that's kind of neat stuff that happens there. It's certainly something that we can test. It all seems to be in the same room right now. But these two <coughs> are, are kind of interesting. There you see the door closing. Opening back up again. So, I'm not quite sure how to explain that. Mm -hmm. We're obviously going to need to test for windsock in the house. We're going to need to test the pitching of the door. But it, it's, see if maybe it happens more often, why it happens, when it happens. You know, sometimes in the house when there's a, a certain kind of heat, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you get the uh, different levels of heat that create uh, waves of. Uh, wind almost so we'll see if what that means and i'll show you the other one now all right so this one here um so here we are once again so, there's she's talking to the camera again tape. while she's talking uh, we need to the angle of the camera there seems to be an anomalous light source that happens the um, swear to god really poltergeist -ish in the picture room. i'm going to stop it for a second she's going to show it on the camera but here's a bit of a caveat. There, there is a one of those little, you know, the ones that plug into the wall lights out there. Oh, the oh. night lights. It's not a light. It's a flashlight. Like you could grab it from and just take it off, and oh, but it's okay, like a yeah. warning light. Whatever. You pass by that, and it will go off. It's quite bright, mm -hmm. but when you pass by, it stays on for two minutes or whatever. Yeah. So now she does walk by the door. Now, so that's when it should go off, but, and that's that was the original explanation. I think Sandy never going over this one. Like, well, it's got to be something like that, right? So there's my mom walking to the other spare bedroom. Sorry, that glare from the light right up in there, that uh, I have the light bedroom light on now. So I'm not sure what that flash was. As you can see, it, it's, the light source comes from across here and down. Yeah. Now, when you first saw that light go on in the hallway, I think that might have been the mom sensing off the sensor. Mm -hmm. That I could see. It's a brighter in the hallway, and it's a solid. It That's stays. kind of weird. That's really weird to me. Mm -hmm. So I don't have an explanation for this, but we're going to need to absolutely, this room will be monitored like the wazoo, because mm -hmm. in this room we've got doors open close, I've got cross moving up on wall, and we've got flashes of light that look like they're actually from the room. So, this could be an incredibly exciting investigation. Even if I tried to place it there, it would fall. No, and even trying to balance that end on the tack, it still doesn't. It just keeps falling off. So. What way are we going to try to figure this thing? So this light was on. I think this was off. Okay. All right. So see so here. This light was on.
Is the door wide open? The door was wide open. The door was wide open, and you do see her come into this room yeah. a few seconds before it. Right. And she's seen nothing. But then okay, you've got let's that. try this. Okay. Now, I hope you're yelling down to you. Well, she's going to write down time. Give me a hand. Hold on. So go in there with the camera. You film this and tell me if you're seeing. Start, we'll try with this here. So that comes off. bright light down here and a bright light up with just a small screen so if it was just going through the door. See if that gives any kind of effect. We're gonna see that. Keep doing that. It's not the same. Don't say anything. Yeah. You know that totally just looks like Flash a light up. blinking. Because it's not even on a curtain rod that it would be no, slid open yeah. during the day or something. There's not even any lights out there anyway. <laughs> Okay, so if I'm walking by this light, okay, so it's like the way it is right now. Just, what's the reaction? <laughs> Normally I can recreate stuff. <laughs> okay, so let's see how well it's pinned. It's, hold on a sec. It's been solid. Yeah. They have a picture of that up there. Mm -hmm. And you can't. You can't. Yeah, and they said they've tried to recreate it too, and it just won't. Because it just doesn't sit. It's really quite weird. I'm really quite. Hold on one second. Did they yes, put they that had, back up there? Yes, it was, was it there. originally it was there. there? It was there. They said it would be. You break my CO thing, you're breaking. Well, if we're going to try and recreate that, I think it needs to be at the same height as the staler. That's how it was. Hmm. Okay, so we have the idea that it could feasibly be put there. Yeah. But it takes a bit of compromising and Well it does, but it is possible with the lower spot. But I know the other hole in it. Pickering home. Great investigation. Getting ready for this one. Let's go hot. Right. Is it? Okay, so let's go downstairs. Okay, I'm gonna go right down. We're gonna shine the light on the stairs. I'm gonna walk further down this hallway. Away from my team, unprotected by my fellows. Stand here for a minute. I would like you to give me some of the physical actions that you're giving the residents of this home. Okay, so here we are, we're in the workshop. This is kind of a nice little spot, frankly. I mean, I know that Ted comes down here and fixes stuff. Maybe you spend some time with it. I know that obviously around me we've probably got some. Uh, is that you? Kind of me. Okay, so we haven't got any... Well, there's a lot of power sources down here, that's for sure. Readings in here, Nick? No readings in zero. Zero. Zero zero. Let's try taking her over the box over there. It was really flat when Tanisha did the box. Yeah? It's okay, that's a sign of well-grounded wires. 
Look, you know what, we're down here in the basement for our workshop, and uh, nothing's particularly occurring down in the basement, but this is consistent with what they were saying, correct? I mean, they said there really wasn't, the basement wasn't the gig, but we need to investigate everything. So can you come in here and move something up the shelf? You know, if you like all the tools, the tools are kind of cool, right? You know, why don't you... What was that? There was a man possibly from upstairs? I don't know. Did one of you guys just slam the floor? Okay, thanks. That's why. <laughs> so, we've got an open dryer door here. Tagging foot movement upstairs. It's going to be loud down here because we're in the new floor. So this is a door. <laughs> it's a door. <laughs> what else am I supposed to say about it? Right, it's dry door. Can you make it move? If you're strong enough to do all of what you're doing upstairs, you can make that damn thing move. Are you scared? Scared we'll see you? Scared you could stop scaring this family? All right, so we've made the floor here. These people's home. You know, I would think you'd have a lot more respect for anything. The home's kept nice and clean. <laughs> yeah, I was scratching my butt. <laughs> it, again. It, was, it, was, it was itchy. <laughs> The audio is over there. I'm going to grab the audio very closer to me just for that matter. Glad I didn't have to hit anything else. Okay. Alright, so you know what? In this room, I'm going to take a seat. Frankly, there's all kinds of air purifiers and stuff that are creating a white noise. This is an excellent thing for you to lend your voice to. It's okay, we've got we've got Things that we can listen to without having to hear that. We can filter that out. Uh, I don't know if you know what the audio is. I don't know how long you've been departed from this world. But I've got a little device that sits next to me that uh, can hear your voice. I and mean, we can hear it later. James, my friend over here, has got a device in his hand that can measure your energy. So if you go sit next to him, it'll go up. Sandy over there has got a camera. She can take pictures with me. If you want to sit next to me right now, why don't you sit next to me and take a picture? I'm assuring you that you're better looking. Okay, so we were down here a few minutes ago, and we had some EMF spikes when I was trying to talk to you. Well, now there's no men down here. There's only me. So why don't you talk to me? I think it's really horrible how much you're scaring the lady that lives here. There's some people that have passed on that were in their lives. Is it maybe one of you that is here? Cindy, are you here? Are you trying to talk to your husband? Are you maybe upset that he's moved on? If that's the case, I really think you need to let them go. It's not fair to him. Or maybe are you Amanda's dad? David, are you here? Really, really, really expect you to do something. 
Were you doing it because there was a girl in the room by herself? It's kind of starting to see that way, isn't it, guys? It's just not all that concerned about a male voice. You know what? Maybe I'll continue to sit in that room. How about this? Do you want us to move into that room? I'll go downstairs. Okay, so you seem to like terrorizing women. Why don't you do something for me? I have, there's a couple devices here on the bed. If you come near this device here, the numbers will go up. And if you touch this one here, lights go off. And you don't have to touch very hard. So if you could do that for me, that would be great. Are you upset that I told you you're not welcome here? You're not. You need to leave. You need to cross over. My leg is freezing. So you're getting close to Sandy, are you? Let her know that. Are you upset that I'm telling you to go? girls you like? Are you afraid of men? Why are you bothering these people? Can you tell me why you're here? <clears throat> Is that you making the temperature on this go up? Can you tell me if you like to play any sports? I know I like to play soccer and basketball. Do you like to play any sports? You can sit next to me and make the numbers go up. up to a 1.3. Can you bring it higher? Can you knock on something for me? Alright, so it's been a pretty good investigation. I haven't had a great deal of stuff happen tonight, but enough that it gives us something to talk about. So, lights on.